EasyDraw is available for download from EasyDraw.com and the Mac App Store. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to set up and use a printer properly with EasyDraw. When starting a drawing, it is wise to first select your printer, then your paper size, and finally the number of pages across and down. You should do this before you spend a great deal of time in your drawing project. You don't want to do work on a drawing project for days and days and finally when it's done you go to print it and uh oh you can't print it properly because you've done something wrong. Of course we always want to get right into the fun and start drawing right away but if you plan to print the results take this advice and set the printer up first. With computer drawing it is easy to lose track of the real world output. It is just as easy to do a full drawing on a pinhead as it is to draw on a normal piece of paper. But naturally the drawing on a pinhead is not going to look good on the full size piece of paper. After you set up the printer, a test print is advised. A large rectangle will show everything that is going to be printed on the piece of paper right there. It shows what's included and what's not going to be included on the piece of paper. A small bit of text will ensure that the font and the font size chosen will look good and have the right orientation on the paper. And a few color swatches will show you that you have the right colors for your drawing project. These swatches will likely look different on paper than on your screen. After testing, save the drawing and all these important settings will be safely stored with your drawing content. This way you will not have any unpleasant surprises when you are ready to print out the final result. To open up the page setup menu, go to File, Page Setup and this is what you will get. Page Setup menu includes the printer name, the paper size name, orientation options, scaling, margin options, basically all the basics you need to do drawing and printing on EasyDraw. The page setup palette provides an interface to define the size of one page of your drawing. The two primary selections found on this palette are, like I said, the printer name and the paper name pop-up menus. The process of setting up the page setting of your drawing begins with the printer. The printers shown in the printer pop-up are derived from OS X, right there. They are not under the control of EasyDraw. Printers are added using the print and fax option found on the System Preferences panel. Let me quickly show you how to add a printer on your Mac. Go to System Preferences, go to Print and Fax, and right here on this list you will see all the printers and scanners that are already connected to your computer or are available on your network. If you don't see any, then you have to manually add them here. We're not going to go into any details about this in this video. If your output is not a specific printer, you will be using the electronic pre-press option. We are not going to get into details about this in this tutorial video. The paper name pop-up menu right here is for using to select a paper size by name. The selections provided right here are physically linked to an actual printer by the operating system. You first select the printer and then the paper name from this list. 
Your selection with this pop-up menu will determine the actual page size available for margin and content of the drawing. Well, let's try to choose some uh, different paper sizes and see what happens and what changes. See the margin size just changed right there. Again, the margin size changed and it got smaller. The printout got smaller. It got shrunk again and it also shows in the preview pane here. If a paper size is for some reason missing, don't immediately resort to a custom paper size. Instead, visit your printer installation and try to determine why the paper you need is not present. There's usually a true physical reason when you cannot find a certain size of paper. One common mistake for printing from EasyDraw or any other app is to get frustrated and go with custom. This usually leads to invalid information going to the printer driver and unpredictable results happening. If you do choose custom, then a test print is absolutely recommended. Also make sure you actually have the paper that you want to choose for your drawing. You may do a perfect layout on a legal sized paper. Everything will look good on the screen. The printer may support the legal sized paper, but if you don't have any legal sized paper in your printer, your printout will be chopped and you won't see the full drawing on normal letter sized paper. Margins are subtracted from the paper size. What is left over is your available drawing area. Most printers have a minimum margin. They can't print right up to the edge of the paper. It is usually best to accept the margins provided by the printer driver. However, if you do set the margins, you will see that is how the actual drawing size is then computed. You don't actually enter a drawing size. So let's do a test here and see what changes. We're going to change the left and right margins from 0.25 to 1 inches for the left and 2 inches for the right and see what happens. You see right there the margin changed to 1 inches. And right there, the margin changed to 2 inches. And on this side, the printout got cropped. This is why the actual drawing size is highlighted in red. Entries are not made there, but you can make an entry to the margin value area. The scaling specified on this panel is used to expand or shrink the apparent size of the physical piece of paper. All of the different places where one can scale a drawing can be confusing. The preview box on the upper right hand corner of the page setup panel provides a useful visualization of this scaling's effect on the output. If you are preparing a technical drawing and need to draw to a specific scale, this is not where that is done. That topic is covered by other tutorials. If you have a full complex drawing, however, ready to print and find that it doesn't fit on the paper that is available, then this scaling parameter is available to expand or shrink the virtual paper size of your drawing. For this example, this is an instruction on how to build origami crane, but as you can see, Parts of the instruction are not fitting on the piece of paper. And we'll go to scaling here to fix that. Drag it back. And now we see all the instructions. If you want to crop it off, then that's how you crop it off. So, normally this scaling parameter is not used. But if at the end of a project, and this is probably going to be because you did not do a test print, you find that, oh, it doesn't fit. 
This will be your lifesaver. EasyDraw is available for download from EasyDraw.com and the Mac App Store. Thank you.